Hey everybody, this is Prince Brightstar, and welcome to the Stanley Parable. Uh, I've heard good things about this game, that it's it, it's confusing and yet not confusing at the same time, and apparently started as a Half-Life mod. So I figured, you know what, let me pick it up and let's take a look at it. I I really don't know what to expect from this here, so let, let's just uh, let's just dive right in and uh, and see what's going on here. Uh, oh, and one other thing uh, that I noticed here is uh, in the corner up here where I have Fraps running, it's actually showing up on this monitor as well. I was a little bit surprised by that. Um, can't really see it right now because it's recording. Uh, it's much more noticeable when uh, when you're not recording and it's just got the yellow frame per second counter going. Uh, anyway, let's uh, begin the game and see what we got here. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Why does this, this sound is like what George Jetson? 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it so I am not a number, I am a free man. Every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been or maybe I'm not for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Hmm. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one what, had you showed up the to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley right, found um... himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Let's see, it's 11.25, so... So wait, he gets in at like 10.30 in the morning? Man, I wish I had that kind of start time. Um, okay, 427. Uh... Pencil sharpener, computer... Can't really click on anything as far as I can... Oh, oh the door. Stanley oh. simply couldn't what? handle the pressure. What if he what? had what? to make a decision? Hey, let me out what of here! What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. I, I can't no. get out? This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Didn't... Nothing will break me. Okay, In here, I can be happy so forever. we're waiting when already happy. an hour's gone by? Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. What? But the one thing he knew for sure... I don't see any doubt, food on the ground or anything. He long enough, Does he, the did he not eat anything? Come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Doesn't seem like the time has changed. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. And the screen goes blank. What? Did Did I just get a game over? Wait. Nobody's here but the phone phone's ringing? Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can you verify what? that this is correct? Um, how do I say no? Excellent. Your order will no, arrive shortly. No, I wanted to say no! Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Uh, uh, oh, okay. I, I hope somebody's in shipping because I... <laughs> How did that happen? Why? Wait, why did I even pick up a phone on somebody else's desk? Wait. Huh? This guy only has a lamp and a pencil sharpener? What? 
did, did this guy get fired or does he just not have a computer like did the company run out of computers because I, I mean look at this this thing looks like an old 486 it's this or maybe even older I, I yeah it's gotta be older because that that is that hard disk on the right side I can't tell but it, it, I don't even see a mouse attached to that thing in fact that looks like an old IBM compatible or something in fact okay what year is it and is is that an eighty eighty six? I yeah, seriously. What? Okay, okay. We're looking at the early nineties here. I I I think this that's either um, OS eight. I think no, it can't be OS eight. That's the, the wrong computer design. That's got to be Windows three point one or something like that. Okay, now I get it. I can't really see outside the window. Like, I'm not sure if that's intentional or if they just didn't have time to animate anything out there. Um, okay, uh, back on track. What, what was going on? Um, right, we... Now, I, you know what? I'm just going to walk because I completely forgot what's going on here. Um, looks, I guess that guy has a door into a back room or something um when stanley came to a set ah, of two open doors he entered the door on his left door on wait so you're saying i have a choice here um you know what things are showing up so weird today already i, I, I think i'm not gonna listen this anymore was not the correct way to the meeting room and stanley knew it perfectly well Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I guess nobody's heard of uh, heard of screensavers yet. Uh, let's see. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, so just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Doesn't seem like much time has gone by. Can can I get some coffee or something, or maybe maybe a soda? Yes. It doesn't seem really, like it. Really worth it being here in the room, a room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, okay. here you sit looking at these chairs and Did... some paintings. Really worth it. Yeah. Well, okay. I. But I eager know. to get back to business. Stanley took the first open door on his left. So, th so this, so this will take me back to where I was, or I can go straight. I, you know, I, I don't know. Stanley was so bad at following directions; it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. How long have I been here, with without knowing? without anybody being here. I mean, did did that whole thing before actually happen, or was did I game over there? Uh, warning, do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. It will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, $5,000. Um, nobody seems to be here, so if I jump off the cargo lift... Does that mean they're not able to find me? If anybody even works Look, Stanley, here? I think perhaps we've gotten um, off on the wrong foot here. Yeah, I'm not I, your enemy, really, I'm not. I, I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's uh, someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Wait. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Wait, are you trying to give me motivation here or something? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Why is it so dark in here? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. I... 
You know, what is this guy's problem? Why is he suddenly trying to give me motivation? Why? He he's telling the story, right? So why isn't why isn't that baked in here or something? Why why don't I know about this motivation that he's trying to give me here? Why is he now trying to force it into me? I. I, all right, I'll, I'll answer it. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Wait, I have a wife? Right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come Wait, in. Wait, why don't I have my keys? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> Did you actually think you had a loving wife who'd want to commit their life to you? Y I'm you trying get to make my a point here, Stanley. Now. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Uh, uh, and he, uh, he, You mean I'm not going to be able to have fun times in the evening? Uh, actually, with... Uh, no, nah, I, I, you know what? Screw you, man. Sorry, oh. but you're in my story now. Uh, all right, all right. Um, can I hop out a window or something? Because th this, this is this is, is very this sad is crazy. story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? You, you, what? He's going to kill me with orders? Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Okay, I, I... You finally said something that makes sense, because in the grand scheme of things, whatever's going on here means nothing. Look and I'm there, Wait, what? Buttons, what just happened to that? exactly what he's told to do. Did that just turn now into office furniture? Now, he's eating lunch. Now, he's going home. Now, he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Um... But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each okay. day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Okay, this game is seriously starting to freak me out because this is this is kind of why I started doing Let's Plays in the first place. So I, I, I seriously, you're <sighs> okay. I admit it. I, I, my job isn't the best thing in the world, but I, I have to do it to live. I mean, I, and so uh, he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Okay, and considering how menial things would be at that point, I would understand. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Okay, this job, it's boring, but I could bring in an MP3. Wait. Um, no, wait. MP3 players didn't even exist. Back then, okay. I know we at least had tape decks back then, so I could, uh, um, I guess bring in a Walkman and um, listen through headphones to audiobooks. I don't know. As he wandered through this, fantasy okay, what is world, happening to this he place? He began to fill it with many possible Wait, paths. What happened to the kitchen? Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Um, 
It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Yeah, it, it, he's calling out to me, the player. Right. Wait, is he? I. What was? What was all that stuff about a baby? And. But there is no answer. But, oh no, How could she's there possibly gone. Be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing Wait, has changed. Four, four, two, seven. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. Wait, is this going to change into the office? Which uh, life is the real one? in a moment. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Is, is the game going to let me try listening to this guy? Uh, I'll... I'll wait until the second hand reaches 20 seconds there. Ah, uh, wow, uh, this is... What is going on here? I... I... I uh, in the grand scheme of things, yes, uh, any life here on Earth is completely insignificant in the grand scheme of the galaxy and everything, but... Uh, okay, time has passed, let's... let's, let's you see? Can he just not oh, yeah. hear me? There we go. How can I tell him in a We're way in the that office. he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? So... So I, I, I guess this I is another game over the then? I want him to. But uh, I don't make okay, the rules. I, uh, I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. So... And I tried again. And Stanley pushed So this is another another game and over? I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried... Yeah, this, this is another game over. I guess? Yeah, here we are. We're, we're back in the office. Ah. Okay. Um. All right. I'm. I'm gonna follow the instructions this time and just All just just see what happens. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah. None, none of these doors are opening or anything, so I I got no choice here. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, door on the left. Here we go. We're. We're not gonna mess anything up this time. We're gonna. We're gonna see how this plays Yet out. There here. was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Uh, okay. How to solve a dispute with a coworker? Let it ball up inside of you. Take it out passive aggressively on other coworkers. Present coworkers. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure. Your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header, and through... Alright, this thing is going so fast, I can't read through it. Everyone is unique, you most of all. Now that's... an interesting thing to say. Number of slides on this slide. Charts, charts and slides, slides. Read it which charts on the same slide depict the same information. Stanley just stood there doing nothing at all. He seems to think I have nothing better to do with my time than to sit around and describe every fascinating whoa, whoa, little whoa, whoa, detail what, what? of his inability to do anything. What was this that just now? This is why Stanley now? and I are on such good terms. Did... Did something not download into the projector properly or something? Okay, that... that Alright, obviously that presentation isn't finished yet here. Uh, let's see. Targets. Push for funding for research and development of new coffee machine. Standard graphs 40xy. 
not cost efficient. Uh, the future was yesterday, today, tomorrow is now. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Synergize paper. So I guess we finished synergizing the papers. Hire someone to synergize papers. Wait. I... Papers are too synergized. Hire somebody to fire the paper synergizing guy. Oh, these are all checkmarked. Okay. So, wait, why did... Why is that one scratched out, but then these have check marks? Who moved my desk? Please keep the targets of... on. Please keep the targets on the topic of... And it's just blurred out. Okay. Tomorrow. Complete today's unfinished agenda items. Write next day's agenda. Reflect. Employee 417491 431 405 416 Jim. So somebody here actually gets to keep their name. Okay. All right. Synergize core value expenditures, shift global market parade, monetize free to play. So is this a game company that I work for? Why did, why did we need like a thousand boxes? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe maybe those are the boxes that the that the games are going to be in sh going to be shipped in. Okay, now that makes sense. Wait, that that Oh, I can't get back in there. That board was talking about a broom closet. Th this one here? Uh, Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Yeah, they're What? Oh no, did Oh, okay, good. I can There I can was click nothing it. here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Is he going to keep talking here? Let, let, let's just see for a second. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't yep. even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. F.A.? What, what, what does F.A. stand for? Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Wait, is he asking that me? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm... I'm genuinely confused. Is he asking that... is he asking that to me? I mean... You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Yeah, you didn't mention it, but the whiteboard back there did. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. Uh, your friends you're missing a concerning. space between E and B there, and... Okay. It, it, uh, okay. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Hey. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. You know what? That the thing about being stupid makes sense, given that I well, I've come to ignored his direction twice. About what's going on right now? You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. What? Well, in a what? situation like you this, you don't the see me moving around in here. Someone nearby, so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? You don't see me. Anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. 
he or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological I... vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse <laughs> from the area and instruct another this human just to take going, their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. Um. All right. <coughs> You've done that. Just step out into the hallway. You're more concerned with replacing a dead player with a new player than, I don't know, shutting the game down so that you're not lost in running cycles forever? I... Okay, did did you shut up? Yeah, look, it, it seems like you shut up here. Okay. <sighs> All right, let's. <laughs> that was a weird tangent. I I gotta say that that that, that was a weird tangent. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Okay, so. If I'm a second player and I see a broom closet, what what happens if I step inside? You too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy <laughs> of an entire species something. of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. A fish? I don't see how that works. A fungus? Ah, uh, maybe if they were from the Mushroom Kingdom. All right. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Wait, there's a choice down here? I mean, I just assumed that we were heading upstairs because that's where the boss usually sits? Don't they usually sit at the top of the building? And, okay, I, I, we're already here it looks like, so let's let's go in. Uh, what's over here? Executive bathroom. Can't open it. And I'm sure I can't open this as well here. Yep. Okay, so here's my, wait, they, Stepping into his no... manager's office, Stanley oh, no, was the... once again stunned to discover not an indication the of any human shut. life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? So, how do what I get out of here? known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth Wait, that his boss that's... had been keeping from him. That's a keypad? And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. I thought those were medals. Eight Four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Okay, let's... 2845, let's give this a try. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly Yeah, right, you passageway. told me what it was. Okay, what, what do we have here? Pretty dark over here. What, what is this? Some sort of a fan machine or something? Because I see, I think those are fans running. Um, okay. Uh, so there's a down button, but there's no way to get back up. Is that what this elevator is? All right, I. Uh, let's just get through this. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large what? door that read Mind Control Facility. Mind Control... What? In this day and age, 
of 46 computers, somebody had a mind control facility. Wait, what is this? Escape? Um... You know what? I don't want to deviate because I don't want to. I don't want to get him mad again. When is this place? It's really. Oh, is this light? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Button with a camera on it. Now the monitors jumped to life. What? Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives okay. of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. I... Wait, it, you're saying this isn't just one giant security room? It, why would that be labeled as a mind control room? I... Because, I mean, these, these seem like security cameras. Otherwise, what was I, 427? That was right about here, I think. No. 427. Let's, let's look at this again. Yeah, I, I mean, if that, if it was something like that, shouldn't it be looking at me right now? This, this looks more like a security room than, than a mind control facility. Okay. Wait, this mind men's room? control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I... Okay, I... Alright, make of it what you will. It, it doesn't... Like I said, to me, this doesn't seem like a mind control facility. This looks like one really fancy security room. I mean, granted, we don't see like the outside of the building for some reason where, you know, threats might come from. Actually, were threats even that big? Uh, okay, maybe, maybe uh, something like, uh, wait, wait, did, did that, did those gates just open up again? Why? Okay, is this another choice? Um, yeah, I don't... Wait. So... Fired? Okay, so so some people have been fired already. And... There are cameras for the interior of the building, it looks like there. Because I can see... Uh, what are those? The stairs? Let's... Let's get a little closer here. Yeah, look, that looks like stairs. So, okay, so, so, once again, this looks like a giant security room. It, it doesn't look like a mind control facility. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm, can I get back to escape? Hey, no, it doesn't seem like it. So, so why would those gates just open up like that? Like, this doesn't make any sense. It, Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, that elevator is going to... I think that's an elevator. That, that's going to take me up. What? So did the game want me to turn off the lights before I left? I... Huh? What? Okay, they're off. What the? What? <laughs> How did... How did I... 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 <laughs> How did I... Did I seriously just stumble across a secret 
Easter egg or something? I... All because I took too long? <laughs> Secrets for President 2016? Ah. I... <laughs> um... Alright, I, I... I am speechless right now. I... I... I don't think it was intended for me to find this... this early in the game. But... <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> Alright, uh, you know what, let, let's, let's get out of here, because I... I, I think no, I just screwed the game. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? <laughs> never! It was unthinkable. That was Wasn't funny. It? I, I... Was it even possible? I, Had he I, truly I am left spent his entire here. life utterly what happened blind there? to the world? I, I, I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even listening to what he's saying at this point. I, <laughs> I am just so taken back by that. All right. But it um, was the proof, the heart of the operation. Okay. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Okay. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. So this is starting to look more like more like a, a an evil laboratory or something like that. So okay, I, I take back the security camera stuff. I, I no, seriously, if that was the case, why would there be cameras in the stairwells? That, 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 unless the mind control can be applied without it being in the office? But how could you target someone like that? I... If you needed to target someone... And you had a bunch of people going down the stairwell with 486 technology. How could you? How could you do that? It, 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 it's, uh, it, you know, I'm. Let's just finish this thing up because this is this is hurting my brain at this point. All right. So we when want. At last, he found the source of the room's power. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Okay, um, so this appears to be another choice here, um, I would, if I wasn't, if I was a evil maniac, I, I would of course say yes here, but there's nobody here, Wh who would there be to control, so, what is that? What, what are the, oh, the, are those just cables or something on the, on the ceiling there? Yeah, that, that's what that looks like. Okay, so, all right. Um, there's nobody here, so what would be the point of turning this on? Let's, let's, let's turn it off. And darkness. Blackness. It is. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? It was so dark that it made my monitor go power saving mode. Yes. Oh. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Light yet, streams in. Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Well, Wait, where did the console go? Where, where's that? Where's the How off button that I just pushed? The machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange uh, building okay. hold? Now this As is really hurting. As sunlight hardy. streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. 
All Stanley right. stepped through the open door. So, okay, let, let's... So, yeah, okay, I have freedom now, but... Um, wasn't I going to have to go outside anyway in the end here? I mean, nobody was here at the building. It, it, it doesn't make any sense now, because... How did, how did all these events play out? Because... Regardless of if I had gotten to this point here where these giant doors had opened or not, I was going to have to find a new job. I... I really don't know what to make of this, but... Alright, let's... let's leave. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. You had this to find a new path anyway! Way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Okay, so I, I guess that's the end of the game, so we're gonna get, uh, credit. What? Um... What? It, this isn't the same place, where- Wasn't this- This was a hall, right? I- This is the same office, but... This is- It's- Okay, now I am really confused here. Did he go to another office and the same thing happen? Is, is this guy, like, cursed or something? Uh, I, 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 I gotta take a break here, because this, this, this is this is really starting to confuse me here. I, I Did I, like, beat the first level here, and there, there are more places I need to go to? Um, alright, I, I guess we'll pick this up in the next episode here so thank you everybody for joining me today here if you enjoyed today's content please make sure to like and subscribe this is prince bright star signing off i need to get rid of this headache <laughs>